Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, Taiwo Ajala, is asking the court to compel Dr. Adeduro to refund 2 million Naira deposit he made for a land transaction. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaulu presiding. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Taiwo Ajala and Adedu. Party Swan and Holt. Thank you, Akin. You're welcome, Your Honor. So, Taiwo Ajala, you are the one that has brought Dr. Adedu to court. Yes. Can you please narrate what is Thank going on? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, sometimes in 20, May 2020, my admin manager approached me and said, the defendant has a plot of land to sell in Abuja. <clears throat> that he has some clearing to do at, at, at the port. And it's in, it's, in, it's, in, it's in need of money. And I said, okay, how much is the, the plot of land? He said, eight million. It's, it's, it's in Jikuyi, asket of Abuja. So after all the negotiations, we agree on five million. And he said, it's urgently in need of two million to clear his consignment at the port because it's it's, a, it's attracting them rage. I said, okay, first thing first. Before I would do that, let me even find out the veracity of his claim. So we have an office in Abuja. I sent our office in Abuja, the staff, one of our staff in Abuja, to go to the land and to go to Abuja Municipal and find out if the land is actually genuine. So you took documents from him? Yes. Okay. Yes. So it, the result came back two days after and said, yes, he's the, legal, he's the owner of the, of the land. So I advanced him the two million naira. So, and he gave me the, the title to the, to the land. So about two weeks after, I said, okay, now that we've verified that he's the owner of the land, let's now go to the land and find out if the land exists. Because the document will not tell us whether the land is vacant or if there's anything on the land. So I sent someone again to go there but surprisingly, when the person came back, he said the, the land adjacent to it, that is a graveyard, that people are burying, they are burying the dead there. And adjacent, I, not on the land. Not on the land, initially, adjacent to the land. And I called him, I said, this is what I found out. He said, no, it is not true. I said, okay. Our project director, who is sitting here, traveled to Abuja three weeks after. On the same land, they were burying, they were actually burying that day, three corpses. Ah. And I said, this is not what you told me. He insisted that it's not true. I said, okay, let's go there. Let's go to that land. And if you are sure that the land, there is nothing like that on the land, let's go to Abuja and let's find out. He was just giving me excuses why he cannot go. Then sometimes a month after, he called me that is right there on the land, and that the secretary of the land is with him. I said, this is not our agreement. The agreement will go there together. Let me see, it for, my, let me see for myself that the land is free of Encumbrance. encumbrances. It didn't go. And I said, okay, I don't have any issue with you, but I want my money back. So he called for a meeting. Sometimes, 2nd October 2020, he called for a meeting somewhere in Ikeja, in a fast food restaurant in Ikeja. And one Mrs. Peggy, Peppy, was there. The woman confirmed that she also has a plot of land very close to his. And it's true that they've turned that place to burial ground. I said, okay, fine and good. I want my money. When you paid deposits, yes. before you paid the deposit, yes. you didn't have a physical inspection of the... No, I only had... I only had Abuja the Municipal documents. the document yeah, that, that is the right owner of the land. Okay. So the woman said she also has a plot of land adjacent, not far from East. And she has been told that that place is a burial ground and she has let it go. So and I told him that, okay, I want my money back. He said, that was October 2nd, 2020. He said he would pay me in March 2021. The woman was even accusing him of that, that why are you delaying it till March? 
He said he has an estate in Calabar and uh, asked you on strike. When they call off the strike, he will get money, he will refund my money back. I said, okay, he made it, he, he gave me another taking that he will pay back in March. Go ahead, leave that first. Okay. Go ahead, let me. I will, I will find it. So, March came, he didn't pay me a dime. And I said, you promised to pay me by end of March 2021. It was then, in May, he made another proposal. May 17, 2021. He said he will be paying me 300,000 naira every month till November. Let me have a look at it. I agreed. Show him. He sent, he sent it, it was a WhatsApp message. He said he will be paying it instrumentally every month till 300,000 naira till November. Till November. November came, not even a dime. And even till today, he has not paid me a dime. He has not even one penny. That's your case. Yes, 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 Your Honor. Your Honor, mm -hmm. the land in question I bought in 2004, and uh, when he approached me to the admin manager to buy it, they did all the searches or whatever they could do on the land it was confirmed that I own the land. They went to the land and they did a video recording of the land. My phone, because I've been waiting here, my phone went off because I had the video recording on my old phone. The video recording was sent to me by the admin manager where it was said that we are on the land now. It's semi-built up. Is that correct? Is the admin manager here? I want you to come out. Let me know because we can put the phone on. We can charge it and have a look. But let me hear from him. There is no controversy as to that. As you continue. No. Okay. I want, just want to ask him, is that correct, what he said? That you were on the land and you had a video recording? He wasn't the one. The Not one. him. And so they sent the video to him. He sent to me before they paid for the two million. Okay. You saw the video of the land then. Was there anyone buried there at that time? No. Okay, you can go and have your... So when they, when they saw the video... Can go and sit down. It was after the video, Your Honor, that the two million was paid. And the balance was to be paid after. I was... Then he said I should release the original documents. Once he gets the original documents, they will pay the balance. It's not done that way. Yes, ma'am. The admin wait, manager... Wait, wait, let yes, me, let me, because I will be taking it at every... Yes, ma'am. You know, I asked you to first that they do have a physical inspection... Before making no, if you did not, that's not right. You have to see what you are paying for. Under the law, there's what we call caveat emptor. Buyers beware. Do you understand? I do, Your Honor. You're spending your added money on something that you have not cited. It's not done. And for you, yes. you are selling a property. You had original documents with you. The appropriate thing to do is to make photocopies to give out, for them to go and conduct such. It's only when the full payment is made that you release the original document. Yes, so I'm just correcting the two of yes, you on that, so go ahead. Yes, Your Honor, so after the original documents was released, actually I released through the admin manager, who is my son-in-law, and uh, he said once he gives the original document, he was going to come back with the balance. So he went away with the original documents. Is that the, true? You were supposed to pay the balance ordinarily. No. What what we agreed is after making the two million naira payment to him, the recording he was talking about was after the payment was made. After the payment was made, we had an agreement, signed agreement. When you made that deposit initially, yes, that was with the intention of paying the balance. Later. Balance after seeing the land. Physically. Okay. Yes. All right then. So go ahead. Yes, sir. No. So one of, one of the things I told him is that when you pay the balance and you want to move into the site, please you let me know. Because part of the balance you will pay to me, I will settle the king of the area. Exactly. The plaintiff, Taiwo Ajala, deposited a sum of two million out of the five million naira price agreed for a plot of land in Abuja. He claims to have discovered that the land sold to him is a burial ground. 
He said that one of his staff witnessed the burial of three corpses on the day he went to inspect the land. He alleges that Dr. Adeduru made an undertaking to refund the 2 million naira deposit but has not paid a dime since 2020. The defendant, Dr. Adeduru, said that no corpse was buried on the land as at the time he sold it to Taiwo Ajala. He further stated that he has since released the original documents to the buyer with the expectation that his balance of 3 million naira will be paid. George Fumi wades into this matter. You know why I said exactly? Yes, ma'am. Because what the two of you do not know is that this court had gone to that place. Yes, ma'am. We've gone to investigate this matter. Yes, So I just call me because I have the two of you, I have your claim here. I know where the problem is. As at the time you bought, yes. nobody was buried on the land. Yes. Okay. Initially. On yes. the land. Ad yes, so adjacent. On the land. Yes. Talking, you didn't buy adjacent land. Yes. You bought his own land. Yes. None. After you made deposits. Yes. So people were buried on the land. Now, according to the king and the local people there, when you are about to start work on the land, Ordinarily, or when you resell, he is supposed to say to them, give the, it's their custom, they know it. And even the king said, the person that has buried somebody there, they could still ask him, they will ask him, but you have to come and do the needful first. Because that is the custom. Once that is done, then they will call the chief. They said he's one chief. Do you know the man? I do. They said he's a chief. That they will call the chief and ask the chief to come and exhume from the land. Now, you come to contracts. There was an offer. There was an acceptance. Yes. There's consideration from your parts. All that is left is specific performance. Yes. You've committed yourself. You have as good as bought the land. All you have to do is to pay balance. It's your land. It's no longer his land. You have the original documents with you. Whether you release them or you do not release them, you will still need him before you can change the title to, to your name. It's just the law. I'm just telling you the law, the way it is. Because he has to give you a deed of assignment. And it's the deed of assignment and the receipts that you are going to use to perfect your title. It's like you make payments Oh, you drop, you've made, you've bought it. That's it. Let me just put it there, oh. under the law. All you need to do is pay him his balance. And he will do the deed of assembly. He will go and tidy up that end. He will, he will just go down to the, to the village once he gets that money. And sort of, because I would have taken him up that when he collected the deposit from you, how come he did not do the needful? But from your narration, you said you already knew what you wanted to use that 2 million naira for. That's why I'm not holding him responsible for that. Because ordinarily, you know your custom. You are selling. Immediately you collect the money. The first thing you ought to go and do is that. And you only send somebody down there for them to have a look because you want to make payments. Payment, yes. You wanted to pay the balance at that yes, point in time. So that is where you are right now. Yes, your Honor, there was also a caveat on our agreement that if there's any encumbrance on the land, my money will be returned to me. We both signed before I even paid the Let me see what's your sign. And this is his own, uh, this is his own response to that. You know, I'll explain. I just want to see what you read there. But the bottom line is, right now, 
you have you have not even completed payment. With this, I realize that you have both agreed. Even you have accepted to return the money. Yes, no, by installments. Please, please, please. You've agreed. I'm not. This our agreement. Yes, I'm he's not, not denying that. No. You see, I first told the two of you the position of the law and where you've gone wrong. Yes. Do you understand me? Yes, yes Your Honor. That's the position of the law. Yes, Your Honor. But subsequent to that, or despite that, you've had your own agreements to pay. All right, then. Now, you are ready to sell. To That's sell. the condition yes. to yes, sell. Sir. You have the document to sell the land. Yes, Your Honor. Do you understand? So he cannot sell. Because it's, it's like a stalemate. You can't sell unless you get the documents. And when you get the document to sell, you pay off everybody and you return his own money. Yes, sir. Your Honor, if I've you like offered it. the document to him, but he refused. Let me have the document. Do you have it here? No, it's not here. Where do you stay? Are you in Lagos? You're yes, in Lagos. Your Honor. You are based in Lagos too? Yes. Okay. When can you bring them to the Lagos team? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay, bring it to the court tomorrow morning. Okay. Come over to the court tomorrow morning. Okay. That's by the side. Then you really have to speed up because he needs his money too. Okay. It's more of a gentleman agreement, even though you have signed as well. Okay. Let me have a look at it. That's your signature, right? Yes, sir. I want to confirm that. So, you bring the document over tomorrow. Yes, Your Honor. You sell it on time. Can I have six months, Your Honor? Because I'm not based in Abuja. I got bias the past. I call his lawyer. Okay. Because I given it to a lawyer. I told the lawyer I have a buyer. Okay. Can you send the copy? Even if you have to make, yeah. even you have to make a mark on it. Okay. Let the buyer make copies, mind and pick up. The lawyer didn't give me the paper. He didn't even respond. Okay. But in this case As now, anyway, I won't lie. we've passed that stage now. Hmm. It's the way forward now. So it's, it's talking about six months. Uh, but if you get the money before six months, then yes, I will is that okay by you? I have, you all know that he has made several problems. No, this is caught now. This is caught now. Is that, it's caught now. Is that right, your honor? You are giving, you said six months. Yes, your honor. All right then. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. So tomorrow morning, Yes, Your Honor. You bring the document to the court. Yes, Your Honor. So bring it to the court. Take it to the legal team. And I'll, look, I'll like you to come over tomorrow. Too. So what time? I agree on the time you meet here tomorrow now. What time? 10 o'clock. Is that okay by you? I will make it. All right, so 10 o'clock tomorrow. So my my ruling on this matter is that the plaintiff will hand over the original documents of the land in this boat to the defendants. And in six months' time, that's by October, by 31st of October, yes, 2022, you pay him the sum of two million naira. Thank you. If you decide to pay by installment before that date, you can start. Thank you. You don't really have to wait till when you sell. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If you can offset from any other source, you can start me. Is that acceptable to you? Yes, sir. 
That's my job. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Follow the conversation on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.